when you have followed my channel you will surely know that I was trying to make a superheterodyne radio for VLF and of course I have say listened to all of my followers uh, one of the followers in India told me well uh, um, VLF is dead medium wave is dead uh, and there are no longer radio stations there anyway uh, in Europe like I told in earlier videos we have the BBC uh, on a VLF long wave and we also have uh, a French radio station on long wave and when I listened via this radio uh, TRF radio by the way not a super heterodyne I found that we could also I could also receive in the Netherlands uh, Eastern European VLF radio stations anyway uh, say the idea is again to make a kind of circuit that is comparable to this very simple 1980s radio I told about that uh, yesterday well anyway um, of course for a super heterodyne we need a local oscillator and somewhere here in this beautiful old radio of the 1980s very simple was only a few transistors but um, they uh, knew how to use coils with their specific properties in all kinds of ways both for the um, uh, audio circuit and the radio circuit anyway um, we have say of course here inside a local oscillator and here this is my way of trying to make such a local oscillator for a, a long wave radio um, you can see here the coil the tuning coil it's on a ferrite rod and there's not so much more to tell about that uh, local oscillator only that we can tune it between two frequencies the lowest and the highest frequency and well this is the schematic of course it's all analog old school technology anyway we see here the standard uh, sorry here the standard uh, decoupling unit we see here the NFET the NFET is the BF 256A not obsolete in its source lead it has a coil made with very thin wire a pair wire or you can you can also use a 470 micro henry factory made coil um, this is of course say the, the tank circuit uh, the antenna coil here the tuning capacitor and here that tuning capacitor is bridged with a 120 picofarad capacitor I have measured uh, really in practice what that meant so it means that the tuning cap here and it's also here with its bridged uh, parallel capacitors uh, the tuning cap goes from 100 picofarad to 400 picofarad so with these two with that 120 picofarad parallel and here you see that ferrite rod it's not uh, not very big say it's approximately four centimeters uh, the amount of the windings well I think it's approximately 300 windings but this circuit is very eager to oscillate so uh, when you want to make it do your own experiments that's say the most important thing to tell because uh, my youtube channel is all about doing radio experiments and making electronic circuits 
Uh, of course, when you are interested in the radio, you know how a superheterodyne radio works. And my idea was say this. Um, let me try to receive 159 kilocycles. Uh, that's approximately the BBC in Europe, in England, in the United Kingdom. It's 160 as far as I know. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. And when you have a local oscillator that works on 614 kilocycles and that it works here. You can get, say, a mixing product of 455 kilocycles. And that's the standard um, IF um, medium wave frequency. So I've told more, much more about it here. There are all the 455 kilocycles filters in the IF um, amplifier. Anyway, so that was my ID. Correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, we know two principles regarding mixing and mixing is not the right word. It is frequency transformation. Nothing is mixed in a superheterodyne radio, like we uh, say are mixing certain things in the kitchen, has no uh, reference to do that, absolutely not. Uh, it's frequency transformation and this is say uh, down mixing, but the general idea is up mixing. So. Uh, the say the local oscillator here or another local oscillator receives uh, say the mixer stage receives an antenna signal and it receives a signal out of the local oscillator and they are put together and due to the properties of the transistor or whatever kind of mixing circuit uh, there are so many circuits in this regard, say diode mixing, uh, field effect on system mixing, etc. etc. I always use the most simple circuits for that in my radio circuits. But anyway, so here we have the local oscillator, and that's say the key of this video. Here eh? we have that local oscillator. I tune out the, the tuning capacitor here, that is this tuning capacitor bridge with that 120 picofarad capacitors. You can see it here, the gray ones. And let's see where this works. Tuning now the, the local oscillator, 615 kilohertz. We see a quite good sine wave here. So no problem with that. And the sine wave uh, uh, is sent out via a 50 or 47 picofarad capacitor. So tune a little bit here. You can surely see the frequency change, and it changes between 7 to uh, 9 kilohertz, 7 to 8 kilohertz. And when I turn here again, 615 kilohertz. You can use this as a local oscillator, of course, but also as a test oscillator for all kinds of purposes. So now it's on the maximum here. And now I turn it back here. Let's see again. 7 to 8. 7 to 9 kilocycles, turn it somewhat back, and we are on 615 kilocycles. Of course, say, this way of making a local oscillator has certain disadvantages. Of course, it's a hobby circuit, uh, perhaps the stability is not ideal. But I know from the past when I made uh, these kinds of oscillators 
Yard Shield did via template. Uh, and their stability is, in my opinion at least, good enough to do radio experiments. Make uh, super heterodyne radios, etc. Thanks for watching again. The schematic again. Pen over somewhat. And well, this is C. Enough for this moment.